Hello and welcome to RTC TV4's Tending to Art. I'm your host, Brant Gerald. This week I caught up with Adam Gundrum to talk about some of his recent projects. Let's take a look. I'm here with Adam Gundrum. Adam, tell me a little bit about the local music scene and how it came to be here in Logan Sport. Well, um, I started in the local music scene when I was 15 or so and uh, we had friends from high school from Caston that I grew up with and we loved rock and roll and we started playing rock and roll and then we decided that we wanted to try to start getting shows in Logan Sport and other towns around us and just started talking to people and uh, got lucky with some different places that would invite local bands to play and from there we just kept playing for a long time and here we are today we have a nice record store here in town we have a few really cool all ages uh, music venues and places for people of all ages to come and enjoy music so it's it's been really cool it's been a nice nice growth it's and good. speaking of some of those projects Let's talk about the Space Brain Creative Collective. Space Brain, Space Brain Collective. I can't even say it. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Space Brain Collective is um, uh, a label that uh, my friend Brian and Carmen and I started. And uh, so we basically put out um, different bands of this area. And our kind of main focus of it is to have a really out of the ordinary artistic uh, way to present music instead of it just being a plain recordable CD and a paper sleeve. You know, we have screen printed sleeves from Cheapy Squeegee and all kinds of different stuff. Cheapy that we, Squeegee? Oh, yeah, yeah, Cheapy Squeegee. <laughs> they, they make uh, this shirt and they do very nice screen printing. Shane and Janae are awesome. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we try to put art with the music and make it more of a, a cool package to look at as far as a cool package to listen to. It's interesting because actually I feel like the model for the music industry and the business side of it to get people to buy nowadays it has to become physical in a different aspect. People aren't interested in just the CD. You have vinyls coming back for that same reason where people want something a little more artistic of their favorite band. You know you get an out or a vinyl that has some of their artwork included, and you're just kind of taking that step one one more. Yeah, you know. I mean, uh, and there are several labels, independent labels and bands that, um, you know, we obviously are influenced by, and, uh, you know, most, most of, the, of my favorite bands, when you see them on tour, their albums that you would get are have handmade sleeves by the band members, and they're, you know, signed by the band, and it's it's a piece of artwork that you get with the actual record and it just kind of makes it feel more intimate and more personal and you cool. You get another side of the artist that you're listening to and then it's like, okay, now I can see where their brain is in another level, in another dimension really, because music is one side and then you have a more visual realm too. Yes, yeah, and that's really cool and that's sort of what we try to do. We're, you know, we're you know, weirdo artist people, so we like to... Obviously, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the weird... Awesome. Weird masks here. Awesome masks by Greg Hildebrandt here. <laughs> I don't but think they have much to say. But. They don't, but they're they're very they're very good uh, support <laughs> for me here, and they, they keep me company when I get lonely. But but yeah, it's just, it's all about art, and, and put something really interesting to visualize with what you're listening to. Yeah, cool, cool. So... You have a new project now, actually, right? I do. The Bullhive? Just, yeah. just Bullhive, not the Bullhive. Yeah, yeah, it's just called Bullhive, and uh, it's uh, Brian White and, on drums and Joe Schrock on bass, and I play guitar, and um, yeah, it's been really fun. Uh, both the guys that are in the band with me, we've all been playing music for a long time around this area and became friends uh, from our bands playing shows together throughout the years. and decided to start a project up and it's been a lot of fun and, and you have a new album we do uh coming out really soon uh probably within the next month or two we'll have uh, our first release 
uh, come out and, you know, hopefully everyone likes it. My name is Adam Gundrum and I am going to make art out of my junk mail. You can keep up with Adam's work by checking out his Facebook pages listed below. And you can listen to a few tracks off the new Bull Hive album on Spotify and iTunes. Now let's take a look at some of the events happening in the area.